question of the day, what do I do if my cybersecurity interview did not go so well? Let's check it out. All right, someone asked me, um, what do I do after my cybersecurity interview did not go so well? So first, I will have to figure out why it didn't go well uh, before figuring out what to do next. The first thing is to figure out why it didn't go so well. So it could be many reasons. One, nerves. So people who are nervous um, tend to not do so well in job interviews. Uh, second reason could be that you were not prepared. Um, those are like the two top reasons why people do not do so well on job interviews. So let's start with the uh, nerves. So being nervous is something that happens. Even um, skilled professionals would tell you that they're still nervous sometimes when they go for job interviews because you just never know what questions you might be asked, what could throw you off, um, what the interviewer's perception of you is. There's just so many things that could mess with your mind. So the best way to cure nerves is and it goes to the next point is being prepared so being prepared gives you a certain level of confidence so that when you go into um the interview you you're kind of uh sure that most of the questions that you're going to be asked will already be covered so um the way to be prepared is one, why don't you look up the company? What is the um, company's mission? Who's the CEO of the company? Who's in charge of cybersecurity? Look up um, Glassdoor, which will tell you information about, um, give you kind of reviews of other people who work at that company. And sometimes they might even tell you what the interviewing process is like, so you know what to expect. Because sometimes nervousness and lack of confidence comes with the unknown. Oh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But if you kind of know what's gonna happen, you're less likely to be thrown off your game. So I would say research the company, research interview questions of the company, research uh, interview process of the company uh, for that position that you're applying for. Um, the other way to be uh, prepared is to uh, know what's on your resume. Um, if you put what, you know, you've got to back up your resume. So if you um, put skills and, uh, you know, jobs on your resume, you should be able to speak to those skills and jobs and roles on your resume. So know what's on your resume. There's something that was on your resume that attracted to that uh, potential employer to you. So they're gonna ask you things based on your resume. It was something they saw that they liked, that they feel could match um, the uh, vacuum that they have. So make sure you know what's on your resume, make sure you know um, uh, timelines um, and you're able to speak to the skills and roles. The other way to be prepared is to um, do sample or mock interviews. So I always tell people to do mock interviews using what, why, how, when, where. So those questions, there's, you know, most questions are going to be framed with a what, why, where, how, when. So um, they could ask you, oh, where did you work? Um, 
they could ask you, how do you, how do you develop an SSP? How do you conduct the security control assessment? Why is FISMA um, necessary? Why do we categorize information systems? How do we categorize information systems? So they're going to ask you questions based on those, um, uh, you know, those statements. And another thing is, tell me. <laughs> so they're going to ask you, tell me about this. Tell me about your experience. Tell me about your time at um, Booz Allen. Tell me about your time at, you know. So think of questions that. Uh, you might be asked. Also, you could reach out to reach out to someone on LinkedIn. Reach out to someone on LinkedIn that has the position that you're looking to apply for, and say, "Hey, um, would you mind? I'm, I'm applying for a job. I'm about to get an interview. Would you mind uh, sending me potential questions that I might be asked?" And anyone who's nice and in um, our field, we'll maybe shoot you about five questions. So do that, and you could be you could start to build your question bank. And um, even someone might say, "Oh, you're applying for a job? That's that's neat because we are actually looking looking for someone um, at my job, and that could be a potential um, way for you to get a job." But yeah, make sure that your LinkedIn presence. That's another thing. Make sure that your LinkedIn uh, present matches your your um, your resume, and make sure that um, you're able to speak to anything that's on your LinkedIn. Because sometimes they might ask you questions that's on your LinkedIn and not just your resume. So I hope these uh, tips were helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments below. Were there any? Uh, other things that I failed to mention, why don't you place them below so that everyone can benefit from this knowledge. All right. Thank you. Until next time. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, uh, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Boot Camp, comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at Cyber First Solutions. Thank you.